Welcome back to the PlayStation Project. And my eyes went right to that Batman Forever game. It rather not land there. Now it's time we get the Maestro music. It's not Batman Forever. Alright. Today we are playing... Well, you guys just saw. We are playing the Maestro music. As far as I can tell, this game only... This game was made by Global A. It's pretty much one of the only things they made, and it's a music simulator. So this will probably be very short. Warning, you are about to play a game that might end up being a fun pack. Good luck. Global I'm awake, I'm awake. Luckily for me, all these songs should be public domain, so I don't have to worry about YouTube. Hooray! Option. I guess turn all the save on. This could change, oh. Huh. There are three discs in total, and I guess you actually could swap between all three if you really wanted to. Huh. I was just going to play the one, but if that works, we'll try that out another day, and if not, oh well. Anywho. We got free mode and then game mode. Tutorial rehearsal concert. Yeah, well, I have no clue what I'm doing, so tutorial. Hello, I am no chan I can be helping you out. Luckily for you, this controller only has two buttons, A and B, which correspond to circle and X. So you have a 50-50 shot at getting it right if you're trying to play this in English like some sort of nut. If you pick the wrong one, we will say X. So literally, circle and X. That's all you need to know! You point it at the TV, and you do conductor things, like this. You see, you can do things slow, or really quick, or up and down a lot. Okay. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. I'm not Okay, so yeah, the X and the circle buttons appear to be interchangeable, and then the directional pads can raise or lower the volume. You actually have to tap the buttons to the, uh, the beats per minute.
That was terrible. They say it wasn't that bad. You will have to work harder at this. Probably. Oh, I guess I lost. I thought I did pretty good. Well, let's try a rehearsal then. We have... Modest Petrovich Musurgi. Which, as far as I can tell, is the only song in here. Unless you have to lock, un, uh, unlock the rest of them. Two. One. Downside to this is as you're tapping, if you are off, it, it plays it fine. It's just like if I'm trying to talk, it'll uh, completely stop. Like if I just do this, and then it goes really slow at the next part. So you just gotta keep on moving. It was alright, but yeah. Temple dynamics range is they gotta be. For not understanding this, that's actually not bad. So next we get Jacques Offenbach with that very quick song, very well. Oh ho ho! Are you ready? I'm all set to the if this really all it is, then, yeah, well, I guess that's another rhythm game off the list, but at least this is different. I will give them credit for that. There we go. I know the song. Let's play a better game. At least I'm done with 3D. Let's do the game. This is still way better than a lot of the games that I played recently. I can't keep a tune, but that is okay, cause then... I don't know. I got too slow again, what am I doing? Get those animations. Glorious one frame a second. Look at that guy going down the drum bone. We are going to keep this loud, whether you like it or not. Now my thumb is starting to hurt. Whew. 
Okay. I've done better. That's still gotta be Yata. Oh, George's Bizet. Oh ho ho. I don't know how many rehearsal ones there are, so we'll do one more of that and then we will check the concert. Ooh. This is the hardest game I played that only requires two buttons. Well, actually, the second hardest. We still have Evil Zone to play yet. This seems like it, 120 seems like God is, is on the low side. It should be this fast, I thought. Now we can slow it down a little bit. This is good for being a tempo simulator. I really have to watch what I'm doing. How is it for this kind of game I'm finding it so much harder to talk while I'm playing it? Oh, I like it faster. My way was better. I don't care what you say. Game over! I mean, they give you a lot of leeway. I was just kind of done. It was time for the concert. So, let's check that mode out and we'll call it a day. Concert! Who we got? Oh, it's time for Beethoven! The moment of truth, the part you have all been waiting for. Possibly. I don't know. Here we go, and now... Look at their countryside, look at how majestic it is. I like how the filters are so heavy that you have no idea who these people are. Not much for me to say here. Just let them play their Beethoven. The no guy's happy.
get into the quiet part. Now we're back to wild. This is probably a lot harder with an actual one of those things. It'd be kind of fun to use like an actual controller though, like... Not actual controller, like actual baton. Since apparently they have that. Yeah, they do seem generous. Like, I'm going quite a bit faster, and they're still like, yeah, that's pretty good. They care more about getting the volume right. And there you have it. Why was the tempo that far off? I was, like, pretty spot on with it. Whatever. And now, let's end with Sir Edward Elgar. I pressed the button, I don't know why it's not working now. This one's getting a little stricter, I believe, on that. See, this sounds like RPG boss music. Now we're feeling like it. Oh! It didn't dawn on me until way too late that this was this song. I got tough near the end. Okay. Ooh, 
more of just applause, but very spattering because I was only a C. Well, let's end with some Warshark. Beep, beep, beep. I could take a guess at what this one is, but I could be wrong. Given that I was completely wrong about while having ourselves some nice British music at the beginning. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't have anything to say about that one. That's one of my all-time favorite classical pieces, so... It was what it was. You know, that wasn't even the best part of it. That's really the... Quiet part with very little to do, and... The, the slow tempo really threw me off. So wait, there's only three in each one? I was at the end? Really? That's kind of... Disappointing? So technically, I beat the game already. Well, that's the Maestro music, and that that was it. I guess if you want to relax, you can listen to it, or you can play along in freestyle mode, and that's basically it. Now, loading. Don't worry. Soon enough, we'll be done with every PlayStation 1 game. So he's gonna give me a pep talk now. Joseph Bizet was actually quite the fan of the PlayStation 1, despite it coming around, say, 150 years after, after he flourished in this world. But you know, he knew that one day, these classical pieces would become part of RPG lore. And I'm pretty sure at least one final boss music is loosely based on a Vorshak piece. I can't remember which one, but while we wrap this up, I'm looking this up right now because I am sure.
Bom, 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 bom. Now, of course, Google decides when you type in words, it's not going to have it anymore because I don't know. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Anywho. It was Ashura's Wrath. I knew it was from somewhere. I am I, not crazy. Not only that, but the first guy, Mondas Mosorski. I probably completely botched his name. You may know better from Kingdom Hearts. Just saying. So why not let's bring him back in. I believe I've shown everything I need to, and certainly if I were to make a game, I would have a few classical pieces in it too. After all, they're in the public domain. Now I don't have to pay anyone! Huzzah! But in all seriousness, I know this is a massive departure from my usual stuff, and there is the only the one, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the reprieve from some of the crap we've had to deal with.